New at 6, we're hearing from Arkansas farmers about the impact the unprecedented prices at the pump are having on them. Diesel fuel has seen the biggest jumps, increasing by more than $2 in the last year. As Ian Russell with our Little Rock station found out from farmers in central Arkansas, they have no choice but to pay those prices. Uh, annually, it's probably around 5,000 gallons. The Barnhills run a small farming operation in Lone Oak, but the effects of inflation are still big for them. There's a lot of griping going on, belly aching. And, uh, but they're, they're kind of like me. They're just going to have to suck it up. For co-owner Rex Barnhill, he's between a rock and a hard place. He needs diesel for the machines that help him tend to the fields, but it doesn't mean he has to like the price it takes to fill them up. When that tank runs dry, I'm, I'm buying. And it doesn't matter what the price is. Without it, we can't operate. To fill up this tank costs $6,000. Unfortunately for the Barn Hills and other farmers in Arkansas, that price is only going up. The uh, national average price was over $5.60 a, a gallon, I believe. So very high diesel prices. John Anderson is the head of the Agricultural Economics and Agribusiness Department at the University of Arkansas. Like most of us, he keeps an eye on gas prices. It's going to change the way we operate. It's going to change our production plans in ways that reduce costs probably by ultimately producing less, and that's going to result in higher prices. What's worse, Anderson says diesel prices may continue to rise through the summer, meaning even higher prices for consumers. And those higher prices aren't just for the farmers. We can see it at the store, too. Even more immediately, as I said, everything everything that you see in the grocery store got there on the truck. So fuel prices are embedded really in everything. Anderson says it's tough to watch, especially since there's not much they can do about it. Back at Barnhill Orchards, Barnhill says he'll do what he's always done. He's what he needs because he has a job job to do. If you don't want to pay the price, you just don't play the game. And uh, we don't play the game. There's less people producing. And there's going to be shortage of product. That was Ian Russell reporting. As far as when prices will go down, Anderson says he's unsure. He says harvesting and planning costs will go up as we head into the summer, possibly setting the stage for even higher prices at the grocery store.